Hello everyone. Look at my um, lovely handsome son, Isaac Tony Louis. I want you to, to um, take note at the way my son is being dressed, the way he's being groomed, and the way he's been looked after by my partner, Laura. My son is very fortunate to have been born to a loving, caring mother who's domesticated and has got her son's interest 100% at heart. I'm going to make a series, a series of videos explaining my life and suffering raised by my parents from the age I can remember of two years old and this will start from 1963. I can remember my life from 1963. It is now 2018 and I now have a new family after having gone through a disastrous marriage. I'm suffering with depression and have been suffering with depression for years since living at home with my parents and moving on to a very, very difficult marriage. I feel it's very important for someone to speak about um, something like this and I've analysed how to deal with it and it's a course of action I'm going to do and I'm going to speak about my life and I welcome anyone to challenge me in the family, anyone. You can come out here or live on YouTube and challenge me in what I'm saying. Okay, so um, I was raised by my father and my mother, a family of 11 children. And we have family horrors, which I'm going to put on here on YouTube. I'm going to explain myself and what I've been through and the damages it has caused me. I'm going to also explain the positive side to the family. Every family has a positive and negative side. No one is perfect. But I'm going to explain to you the family horrors and what I think has damaged me. And I'm going to explain the life I, I have my partner and what we've been through together with also her family and her grandparents, etc. I truly believe when you go for depression, you really have to um, get help. And you also have to find a way of dealing with depression or else it will kill, it will kill you dead. Here you can see my lovely son who has been looked after by my partner Laura. I have finally got a proper woman. My woman is half my age, but the age means no difference. People say, oh, you're too young. But I've been with her for many years now. And we have a child and it makes no difference. She's the best woman I've had of anyone in all my life. Okay, there's one thing I want to say which is very important. I want uh, people to listen to this who are in my family, um, my parents' uh, family, cousins, uncles, aunts. I want them to listen to what I'm saying. This is called emotional family bullying and uh, gossip. Now, if you're, uh, if you're faced with this sort of um, gossip in families, let me rephrase this. In a family, you can go through family bullying, like I have done. I have three, uh, I have six bro uh, five brothers, six brothers, one is a stepbrother in the Caribbean, David. I have also five brothers. I have problems with, three, I've had problems in my life with three brothers. The main problems I've had with brothers is Stephen and Titus. They're the main problems I have in the family. Now these brothers, especially Stephen, has had a negative impact on me and has been spreading negative gossip. I don't know why, but he just, uh, he spreads um, negative gossip about me. He's never had anything positive to say about me. No matter what I do, you have a, a, a brother who just hates you. And if anyone has this sort of problem with families, please do um, leave me a comment in my box. And oh, who's had family problems where you were just bullied out of the family? 
I have to really re make a note. This is just, a, this is just an introductory video, and it's quite hard to put together because I, I have to sit down and write it on paper so I can let it come out so it makes sense to you and it's not coming out emotionally. Because what I've been through, it's very easy for it to come out emotionally. Now, let me give you a, a, a scenario here. In life, they say, if you're arguing with, arguing with people, just let it go and ignore them. Just ignore the people who are causing problems. It can be with your family, at work, anywhere in life. Ignore them. Just let it go by. What they say won't hurt. But it's not true. What they say does hurt. And I'll give you an example in my opinion. My family has spread so much malicious gossip about me, including my children who are raised in my failed marriage, that it impacts my life right now. And I'll show you how it affects my life. It affects my life in ways that can be actually dangerous. I'm walking down the road, okay? And a stranger comes up to me. A person who knows my brother or, or, or sister or my children. And look at me very weird. I get a very weird look from this person. Like as if they want to attack me. And what I didn't realise that my family had spread such vicious, vicious rumours about me that this person was so dis, um, angry, with, angry with me, looking at me and um, forming an opinion of me and judging me. This includes my cousins, certain people and members of the family. That is very, very uncomfortable. Like, could you imagine you're, you're in a situation where why these people take it personally and attack you for something that is not true at all? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this video now. And I'm going to tell you just to stand up to emotional bullies and people spreading lies about you. I'm going to make a video, right, explaining the situation I was in the best way I can. And the, the, the emotion bullying I faced, the violence I faced, which I should have reported to the police, okay? The violence I faced from brother Stephen, the, brother, the, the, the attempted violence I faced from, from brother Titus, and also Adrian, and the harassment. I'm asking those brothers of mine to never, ever use violence against me again. Never again. Because I'm going to retaliate and you're going to, you're going to be met with force that you've never faced before. My mother is gone. I love my brothers. But now I don't really care. I don't really care from brothers like that who treat me this way. I wish we could be so close. I wish we had... Um, uh, uh, I wish you had the intelligence to stay with me and not be so negative, not be so hateful towards me, be supportive of me and not be so negative, especially you, Titus. I love all the children, Julian, Marcel, Anton, um, uh, Omar, Loretta, all the I love all the family, all the children. I could have got, they've done nothing against me. It's just three brothers and my father who raised me I've been raised by the most negative hating father of all time and this is something I'm going to speak about I don't care I'm going to put it out and I'm going to speak about it if you wish to say something about me you can put it out also on YouTube but I'm going to expose you for what you've done to me and it's not, not as a vicious way to get back at you but for you to stop you are going to stop okay you are going to stop so um, you can see my life here. I've got a, a, a lovely life here with my son Isaac and my um, partner Laura. And this video is going to go out and it's going to show um, others who are in a similar situation what to do. I'm going to tell you what to do when you get in a situation like mine. I'm going to expose my daughter Maxine, Tyson and Leon, my son Leon, of what they've done and also how my marriage with my ex-wife affected the raising up of the children and what and what's not true, what is true. So it's going to come out. So I hope you, Kenny, Sam and Stephanie, who are the partners of my children, are watching this video as I, as I, as I unleash the series of videos. Like I said, I would like to just forget this and just be I'm getting my life. But I can't. Because you're not allowing me to get with my life. There's so much gossip, gossip about me. It's incredible. And I can't have that at all. Sorry. If you want a war, you're going to have a war. Now, if I, I, I'm a peaceful person. 
Now, if you want to put physical violence on me, you try at your own peril. I've had physical violence for Stephen. My brother Stephen, I want Julian and all the the, 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 the boys to hear this. I'm talking about Brian and everything. What you heard about me is all nonsense. I had physical violence with my brother Stephen. He tried to brick me over some simple incident. He was he acted um, primitive and wanted to brick me. At some mum, at some mum, my mum's house on Mother's Day. This is about six years ago, uh, four years before her death. I backed down. I prayed. To, uh, I prayed to God and hoped He wouldn't do it with the brick. And the force of God came in. My brother Stephen, he then put the brick down. He called me a one-eyed cyclops and a monster. Because I was born from my parents with my eye, a lazy eye, which is one eye very, which shuts. And I was uh, given an operation in 1965 to raise my lazy eye. And um, my brother has the cheek to call me this, a cyclops. And he called me a bastard. And I explained, I'm going to explain to you what it, what it was all about in another video you'll see how ridiculous this guy is. So he put the brick down. I said to myself, thank God, because someone could have got killed. Even me, being hit in the head with a brick, but most likely him. I would have reacted by putting my hands up and then he would have been finished. There's just no way on this planet of physical force, my brother with bare hands can beat me in any kind of scuffles. He's a very hateful person and he always, um, uh, trying to stir up hate in the family, saying that I, I want to beat the brothers up, talking absolute crap, spreading vicious rum rumours about me. My brother Titus, he's a hater of me. He always hated me from young, and I'm going to explain to you why. There's a reason behind, behind anything, and I'm going to explain to you the reason why my brother's the way he is and the way the family is. Basically, my dad conned all of us. He conned the whole family, including my mother, and made her very, very ill with his behaviour. Now, let's seize this um, conversation, because I'm getting too emotional here. And um, I've lost my mum, and we're on an anniversary of my grandmother's death, Maya Pierre, who died at age 107. And how she died, what caused her death is family. One of my uncles, he wanted her pension and he's on drugs in the Caribbean and he forced her, asked her where's her pension and shouted at her and said, where's your money? And it forced her to have a stroke. She then was um, recovered from the stroke and lived a couple of years more before she passed away. Um, rest in peace, my up here. Um, I hope you can see um, our lovely grandson here. <laughs> Remember those watching this video, this is not a negative video out to, to get others. And also you, Stephen and Titus, this is not a video out to get you say, and, and, and make harm to you. This is just to, to show what you have done, to make you realise what you've done to me. And if you, like I said, if you've got a video, make one of me, uh, uh, of the impact I've had on you, if any. Because that's what this video, video is about, is to help other people and make sure they don't go through what I've gone through and what our, fa our family have gone through. Like I said, our families, like Russell, Philip, Andrew, they, Andrew Gray, he doesn't know what we've been through. What? What's this? Like I say, people say never, never again. I've got my, age 57, I have a family. I have a lovely family, about to have a wonderful Christmas. And I hope you all, and it's including my brothers, are having a wonderful Christmas. But this is one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to write about my, um, uh, um, speak about my life and how it's affected me. And then from then, once I've uh, done those videos, I'm then going to move on with my positive life. I hope you lot stop gossip, gossiping about me. There's no one who loved anyone more than anyone in the family. I have thousands and thousands of hours of our mother, recorded on Super 8mm film, going back from 1974. 1974, I've got film of our mothers, all of you brothers, I've got you, the whole family, our mothers played with us. This shows my love for the family. You can see the one who loved the family the most. So um, I hope you all have a good Christmas. And those who are hated on me, you please stop hating on me because you haven't got the truth. You don't know what's going on. 
And those in the situation that I'm in, having had a negative family, a dad who didn't love you, who doesn't love you, who's never phoned you in his entire life, never made a phone call, say, how are you, son? Who, when he speaks to you, he just speaks negatively of you. I hope you have that situation. Speak about it. Seek help before it destroys you like it almost has destroyed me. I found the strength to turn around and, and bypass this, and this is the way I'm going to deal with it. Like I said to um, Titus and Stephen, the ones and Adrian who feel of using violence towards me, if you use violence towards me, you lose. It's just no point in using violence towards me and hate. Find a peaceful solution. Give yourself to God. Do that. Okay, like I said, I've got nothing against Savannah, your boys, your children. I love your children, Julian, Marcel, and Anton. I love you. I'm your, I'm your uncle, um, and, and also Omar, uh, um, the son of Titus. I'm your uncle. I love you. All my nephews and nieces. I love them all, including Brian. Brian, I love you, Brian. I wish we could have a relationship where you can come around to me and we can speak. You will know me. You'll be so shocked. What a, a lovely uncle you have. The family is so negative. And I'm going to, it takes a lot of strength for what I'm doing because I'm going to show you where the family gone wrong. And, and this probably help you a lot when you have problems in your life, how to deal with things. So anyhow here, this is the video I'm going to cut here. I'm going to put another video about my son, how we're getting on. Hope you have a good Christmas. These videos will be released, will be released in the new year. Thanks for watching.